Good morning to all of you beautiful loved ones. We're going to have an extended start this morning. Um, just to give the others, the late risers, the opportunity to get up. I don't know how many of you are hearing this, but if you are hearing it, it's going to be an extended um, start this morning. I would say about 10 minutes or so. So get your coffee, get your snacks, sit back, meditate on this beautiful sunrise. See you all in a little bit. As I see a few of you all on now, good morning and welcome to beautiful Barbados. This is not really our official start. Just want to let you know we are going to be doing an extended um, starting meditation this morning. Uh, we're going to kick off somewhere around quarter to six. Just going to give those late risers a chance to get up so they can enjoy it as well. But those of you that are here with me first time this morning, I want you to enjoy this pre-dawn and this beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Enjoy the quietness, the peacefulness and serenity of this absolutely iconic location enjoy yourself see you in a little bit
Good morning to each and every one of you and welcome to beautiful, beautiful Barbados. We started early this morning because we wanted to let people see the pre-dawn, the experience of peace and serenity that I always talk about when I come over to Bashba. I've been here since quarter six this morning, uh, sorry, quarter five this morning. Absolutely beautiful over this side. Stunning, stunning views. And you know, I just want to say serenity prayer and then give you a couple more minutes to this glorious sunrise. Those who would like to join us, please do so. All others will be back to you in a few moments. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Well, good morning to each and every one of you and welcome to beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Those who have been on this morning with me from the beginning would have seen a stunning pre-dawn and then you would also have seen the sunrise. Just a glorious, glorious day here. As soon as I saw this morning that the winds were light and that the weather conditions looked the satellite and stuff and saw that there really weren't many clouds around, I said, well, we're going to definitely head over here, but it's going to be an early morning. So not only you had to rush, I had to rush too, but not rush, but be a little speedier than normal you know I'm a lazy guy I like to do it really slowly this morning I had to definitely speed that up a little bit I'm walking a little bit slow today because my afro is coming back and get rid of that shortly but don't mind we're gonna take our time we're gonna start this week with a beautiful walk I'm really looking to carry you through one of the most iconic places in the world definitely one of the most beautiful places in the world if not the most beautiful to me it's the most beautiful but I know there are many all over the world that think there are other places that may be as close or as beautiful, but certainly not more beautiful, that's for sure. Okay, good morning to you all again. Iconic, Bathsheba. We're looking at what is known as High Rock. We're directly on the inside of the break. That is called High Rock itself. There are some waves today. The winds are on the back or side shore slightly, so surfers. If you want to surf today, you can find one over here. The lovely thing is that they over here has had a little bit of a break from the sargasm that has been building up on the beaches um, before it was much much worse but as you all would have seen the floats have been heading into the south which means that over here has been spared somewhat so it has had a chance to clean up a little bit all right so we're going to start off our walk this morning we're slightly up on an elevation here we're going to work our way down the beach it's sort of like a little bit of a crisscross and um, we're going to come back up here and we're going to move across the top ridge again but just to show you a couple of things in this area if you want Oh my goodness, let me stop a minute though. I gotta look at these rays. Rays of promises of a new day. A day for you and me and everyone to wipe their, their slates clean and start afresh. It is absolutely beautiful. I saw a name, before I go any further though, I saw a name pop up here this morning that if I was not sitting down, I would have fallen down for sure. Good morning, Simon. 
<laughs> I'm gonna let you keep your uh, you know your identity safe this morning and I'm not gonna let anybody know I'm talking about Simon uh, good morning to each and every one of you all again it's beautiful look at this you could actually leave this here on this all the time this is why I love the cloudy daybreaks sunrises because the Sun doesn't actually just blister the camera you can you can enjoy all of the scenery and watch all the shadows awaken from around here and just disappear and the beautiful glows start to come across the water so we're going to continue our walk now because this beauty is going to last for the whole morning we're going to continue looking at that it's also going to last for the entire day and for the rest of life's cycle on earth beautiful St. Aidan's Church um, this is now 113 years old or it was established 113 years ago um, this is an Anglican church here and it's located directly on the high rock section of Bathsheba. Is this not just stunning? I'm going to give you a 360 now because we got some lovely rays out there that I didn't want to take in. We're going to start there and we're going to end there. Enjoy the surroundings, breathe in the peace and the serenity. Obviously with my silence, I'm going to fight to keep silent but I've got to do it. So here we go. completed in silence hold that driver <laughs> now if you want to wake up to this kind of scenery over here on a morning you want to rent somewhere one two or three bedroom properties I have not stayed in these but I have visited them many times when there are surfers down here a couple of my friends have come over and stayed here I will tell you if you're looking for a marble countertop or you're looking for gold fixtures don't come over here this is the traditional style Bajan beach house that has always been around absolutely beautiful the serenity and peace that you're going to experience over here is second to none it is absolutely breathtaking over here i'll just give you a quick glimpse of the sign so that you can do your own contacts your own googling and your own investigations if this is something you're interested in remember you're away away from everything no not that they don't have any necessities here but they don't have all the luxuries that you'll find on the other two coastlines um, but if you want anything to eat or anything else or a restaurant or something they're around here there's also um, some convenience stores like down in Bell Plain and stuff a little further away but if you're over here you're gonna need a car I would definitely recommend that um, or if you want a car for part of your time definitely do so or you, um, you're gonna feel a little bit trapped out here not that there's not um, an efficient bus service that runs over here a lot of them are air-conditioned coaches as some of our world travelers are currently going up to Europe now will attest to um, they have been over here in air-conditioned luxury and enjoy the beautiful scenery and stuff but if you want something uh, it's a little bit more whenever I'm ready to move kind of thing you need a car I recommend maybe a 4x4 if you can get one or a Jeep or something with some ground clearance because you go on to do a little investigating on this side of the island as well now we are exactly where we ended off last time that we were here so we're picking up the coastline in the same place that we left it at last time make our way down a little bit on the lower elevation just to let you see what down here looks like at the moment still got some sargasm and stuff but not nearly as bad as it was you want to see any sand here a couple of weeks ago um, beautiful absolutely beautiful stunning conditions this shelf reef when I started to surf long time ago well not that long ago because I'm a young fella uh, this shelf reef was all under sand I remember that very clearly big beach used to be here all through high or low tide nowadays well there's really no beach in this section here at all when it's high tide especially if it's a little swell running 
If there is a big hurricane swell that runs, just to give you an understanding of what happens to this location, the water comes right up to the road level. If you have ever been to Soup Bowl before you uh, park where the buses stop and turn, water comes right up to that bank. I have actually been there with Ashley and Trot, two of my buddies from a long time ago, and we have watched swells surge right up onto that bank, the point of where we were ready to jump in the vehicles and exit because we were really concerned for our safety and the safety of the vehicle, of course. Not really our safety because we are Olympic swimmers. All three of us are Olympic swimmers, you know, so it wouldn't have been a problem, but for the general person. <laughs> Good morning to everyone that came out yesterday. What an amazing day it was at Crystal Waters. When he first got there, it was real quiet. But then the Bobby Hay family came and they started the entertainment. And I had some other Bobby Hay people who I've tried to get into our family who I gave our greetings cards to. So hopefully they will come and join us because they had the spirit and the peace and the, um, you know, the friendliness and everything else that we like in the EMC. To those that I met yesterday for the first time, Man, it was a pleasure. I really mean that, a pleasure. Walking around you yesterday was like walking around my brothers and sisters for a long time because I know everyone. I come online and I talk to you in the morning. As I said before, I don't just, um, you know, respond. I go through the vlogs and I follow everything that you're responding to. I know what makes you laugh. I know what makes you cry. I know what makes you go, ooh. And I know what makes you say, but you can't take any more of this. So, I do know you, so for the time you come here, I'm not meeting a stranger. I'm just meeting someone face to face that I've known for a long time, that I've spent hours and hours with uh, over the last year and a half now. What a beautiful view. I'm going to give you another 360 though, folks. Uh, last week, I did some 360s and some of our family said, listen, I'm going to fall down because I'm getting dizzy. So what we can do is we can reverse this one, untangle your head and give you a chance to focus again. So here we go. Wow, we oh my gosh, is that not just beautiful? It's a good thing that I don't give out strikes on my off day because let me tell you, yesterday I'd been so busy with my pen that I wouldn't have had a chance to socialize with anyone because of all of the bad behavior that went on online yesterday. I had a lot that went on around me too, but as I said, we don't put strikes on an off day. So I know some of you want to get the toppy list, you can buy me coffee, but it's not a problem. If you come in at number 100 and you want to buy me a cup of coffee, I good to go with that. Showing this drainage area here, just to give you an indication of what happens because of all the hills and stuff in this area, when we have heavy torrential rainfalls, water actually hits this bridge at the bottom. Sometimes it can even come over it if you get some of the leaves or branches blocking any of the kind of waterway there. It is an, a really amazing thing to see Barbados when we're undergoing torrential rains. The whole place changes. There are what we like to call rivers. I guess you all will call them creeks, creeks or streams, but don't mind, we call them rivers. Everything starts to work, especially like coming into the Bell Plain area and along the eastern section down there. Beautiful. All right, a lot of these signals down here, usually fairly good. We're picking up the um, towers that are down in the Calwash area at the moment, I believe. I haven't actually checked my, um, where the towers are this morning with my signal, but I guess below the rocks there, just on these rocks, we may have lost it for a few minutes. I hope you didn't lose too much of it. When I do edit it and put it up on YouTube, I will take out that blank spot. It doesn't deter me anymore. I remember when I first started with these vlogs, I used to get extremely upset, frustrated, rumble like I had this chicken, panicking. How am I going to get it? Not anymore. Not anymore at all because these are things that I have no control over. We've just finished saying the serenity prayer. 
got to hear what you say, not just say it and ignore it, listen to what you say and understand it. Bonita restaurant years ago, any of you? Oh my goodness, this is going to be a problem today, he's got out. He's on me today, like white on rice. Alright, if you're down here and you want something from Zacchio's, you can also come over here as well. They have an outlet just up inside here, not only in Whole Town, they also have one here as well. Very, very popular with surfers and stuff. Although you don't have the view, they will certainly come here and get their food stuff and enjoy themselves. Uh, have a look over here though. Blinding, darker makers please. We have a disclaimer in effect. And the disclaimer is, if you come over here and damage your optic vision, that is not our problem. Because we tell you to bring your darker makers. Always travel with your darker makers. When you come to Barbados, you'll see that a lot of beaches have dark makers. They use them over their eyes. They use them as bandos. They use them as cravats. That's around the neck in case any of you don't date back to the time when I used to hear my father talk about that I wasn't that old. Uh, yeah, so just wear your dark makers, scare me a pocket or something. Always take them with you because a cloudy day can be a torture sun in no time. Just in a matter of blink of an eye, you're in the tropics. You're on a little small island that changes the weather as I said, drop of a dime. We are taking the... I will have... I'm using Iconic a lot, but I'm going to use it again. We're taking the iconic walk of the surfers who stay up by High Rock, or if they're at Soup Bowl and want to go to High Rock. Every time I come here, I dedicate these vlogs to my sister, Tess, and to our... or my nephew, her son, Robert, who's in heaven awaiting us. We'll meet him again one day, but I always dedicate that to them because this place here, as soon as I get here to Bathsheba or start even descend horse hill, I start to think of them. And that is a lovely thing because they walk with me every time I do this, this vlog. You can see people are really enjoying this morning, having a wonderful time. I will shout and say hi to them, but I don't wake up. Hello! Yeah, we did it. We did it. Good morning. Beautiful. Awesome. And if I come back up, I'll give them my Agora card so they will know exactly what we're broadcasting and what we're doing. Is this not beautiful? Now that building there you're seeing, all of the art on, that was originally a bathhouse. So I'm not sure if that was associated originally with the train line that used to run through here. Because the train used to run all along this section here. All the lines were in where you see the water area now. Right up um, along the east coast of Barbados. But that was usually bold and beautiful. Um, it has been painted it clear it has then been re graffitied again etc etc i guess they've given up on it and just leaving on leaving the signage on it uh, or that may be changed in the future and maybe other more important things right now this view if you are coming to barbados please take this in there are some bench there's a bench up there it's where an old house used to be um, they are building i'm seeing different lookout towers and stuff they're beginning to start set up for building i understand there's I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I'll try and find out a little bit more when I do it. Surely we'll share it. But if you are in Bashba, please come up here, go on top of there and enjoy the view from that um, scenic point because that will be gone, um, I would imagine, fairly soon. Because I you see different stuff going out with scaffoldings and, and lookout points and stuff. I would imagine there are intentions to do something like that in the near future. This is a beautiful place. I'm going to carry up in another elevation here to look down into Soup Bowl. I know that there are a lot of our um, family are surfers and some of them come on here in the morning I know there are tons of cameras all around Bashman now since we had the last big competition here back in March um, but we will be having a competition here on the 9th of this month remember our loved Hoggy Anderson Mears they're having a fundraiser for him to help him with his vision I have surfed with Hoggy for the time he started surfing down here in Bashman I know all these guys are my brothers I mean literally I, I, I think of them as being my brothers uh, they're not blood, but they they can't be any closer to me than if they were. And I, I would like everyone that's on the island, if you're here, just come over and support it. Even if it's just moral support, if it's just a clap and cheer, the older guys, not me, because I'm not old enough to go any over 45 category. But uh, the older guys, if you come over and clap and give them a little cheer on. And also feast your eyes on what is called the Bashba surf culture and the surf culture in general. Because you're going to be watching hopefully some brilliant waves. And even if there are no waves... The fun that's going to go on over here is going to be just incredible. So as you can see, there is a little small swell today, fellas. So if you'd like to come over, come on over. I don't know how strong these winds are going to get. They're projected to get stronger as the day goes on and then get stronger as the week goes on. So you see how that goes as well. 
blinding sunlight man she's on all different kind of routes all over the place you can see the foot tracks going everywhere all over the different tracks and stuff going up the hill coming down the hill going between rocks and that's because out here is so popular and travels so much by surfers surfers always looking for the vantage points to see the best break possible I'm not sure how our transmission is going signal wise um, I'm still seeing something on the screen so you haven't actually disappeared hopefully it is fairly clear um, because out here is a place you really want to be viewing for sure as you can see all the sun is waking up everything all of the darker areas where were shadows are now becoming beautiful glows it is gorgeous out here it is hard to bring this in the beginning of the week because when you leave Bashaba to try and keep people happy after leaving Bashaba is difficult I'll, I won't tell you like Barbados is beautiful everywhere but when you come here to find somewhere to sort of like <laughs> capture people is a little bit more difficult but I don't mind because I'm up the challenge you know why I am the Bajan warrior <laughs> so, always ready for a challenge so long as I have my family with me we will find somewhere to gather and we will have a good time I know all of our EMC fans who are on here saying listen Nicholas where's my 360 where's my photo op well I'll tell you what we can do a photo op from right here let you take this in I just want to get the, the microphone a little bit out of the wind so you don't get too much wind noise with it you can hear the sea and leave you with 20 seconds of nothing but stunning beauty peace and serenity galore enjoy Now you tell me, who else offers you a moving photo op? <laughs> the EMC, the EMC, the EMC, you can all shout and rave. I heard Simone say she wants to sing. Listen, no sing you. I sent a real good trend yesterday and I don't, I don't know if you can meet that bar, so you be careful. <laughs> Alright, this is the rise on the beach here, that burnt down, I think about two years ago. Again, please don't hold me for time because you know I, I've been around so much I, and days merged for me. I don't even know when it's the weekend if it wasn't someone saying, don't forget tomorrow's off day. But this is where Rise you see located. As you can see, the foundation is getting dug out. They're going to be rebuilding here. I'm not too sure what is going in here, but hopefully it's something simple and bare house style. Hopefully it's nothing, um, you know, high rise or anything like that because I really would love to see this coastline remain as it is. I definitely think there should be restrictions on this coastline as to buildings, etc. Um, I don't see that in Catawash area, I hate to say it, but I'm hoping that I will see that happening and at least some kind of restriction. If it can't remain the same, as close as possible please. Look at the set that's coming in, nothing big, but just lovely. I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful spot. You can come and sit and watch the air, watch the waves every day. You know, my angel, when she comes over the East Coast, says that every wave paints her picture and every one that breaks place her tune i remember her telling me that on the rock one day down at um at Calhawash when we were there and she was just completely feeling it and she really had a great time down there and if you come over here you will understand what that's all about if you have never been here before make sure you don't come to barbados and say i want to do an island tour skirt the top ridge yeah you will see some beautiful elevated views but you will never feel or see what down in here offers so Remember that, if you come into Barbados, you want to get along the Bashva area and Cattle Wash area, even if it's just a drive-by. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm going to go down the lower elevation again. I'm going to walk across in sand in my 4 by 4s It's all right, no problem. I have only limited slip um, control on it, so we should be good. It's a beautiful morning. Oh, I just saw something here I want to show you, but he's hidden. Okay, we go again. So yes, they do play some beach volleyball over here. <laughs> I can see it's well trampled, so I guess it had some yesterday possibly because it hasn't been interfered with by the, the seas or the winds and stuff or the rain even. So I guess we're having some fun over here. I, I can play beach volleyball over here for sure. Too windy for me, definitely. You know me, I, I, I'm sort of like I'm accustomed to playing in ultimate conditions because that's the only place that you compete for gold medals. <laughs> All these coconut trees here, new in my time for sure. Because before we used to come down here, there weren't really any, maybe one or two, but certainly not the grove. A lot of them we planted purposely, a lot of them have actually washed in and just started to grow themselves. 
this is where we stage our international. We've staged international um, competition over at um, Brandon's or the Drill Hall. Uh, however, this is where we really do stage it. This is where all the international surfers know. Soup Bowl is as well known as any other break in the world because many people have come here and have witnessed what it's like to surf a big north swell here or east swell. So, you know, it is just beautiful. I'm doing another 360 here for you. So, hang in there. Here we go again. I, I, I'm doing this here so that our driver can see that I'm leaving a war wagon dirty for her. Here we go. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Amazing Bashba area. A lot of the homes here um, that stayed, stayed in disrepair for a long time are starting to come back. Uh, a lot of people are using the same footprints, um, same height and everything, which I love. You know, these are what down here has looked like. If you stood here um, 20, 30 years ago, it would not have looked much more different. There are a couple of homes up there in the, um, in the hill area that are newer than that kind of time frame, but in general, it looks very much like what it used to like all the years. It really has remained very much unchanged. What has changed a lot are the musical rocks, as they're referred to sometimes. Um, that is the rocks there that are at the Joe's River mouth. You can see them in the distance. Quite a few of them have actually, the top of the rock is broken off and dropped into the water. There are a lot of pictures around from the older days. If you look at them, you will see the difference and how many more rocks were actually there originally before above water level, of course. Rocks are still there, but under the water. But lovely. When down here has a competition, normally the big internationals all here is tent. We call it, I, I refer to this as a tent city because all the guys come and pitch the tents here from the Thursday and stay right through until the Sunday and Monday morning. And you'll find all the section here is where generally all the tents are set up. Now, they're not tents for public. They're private people that come and set their overnight accommodations and stuff. All of the public staging is held above by where the war wagon is and along the cliff to the east of where that is located. That's where you'll find all the judges' tents and um, all the spectators' tents and all of the competitors' tents, etc. This whole beach here will just be a mass of towels and people, especially on a Sunday. Um, the other days, of course, people are still at work. They're not lucky like some of us. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they have to pick and choose their days. For me, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, I really don't have too many things to interfere with mine. I could come down here morning, noon or night, seven days a week. It's not a problem. The only thing is that I have to definitely deal with our vlogs and share about the love and care that you give me all morning long. There's no way that I cannot do that. So that takes quite some time. I got some beautiful family photos from yesterday. I'm going to be putting them up probably around Wednesday. So any of you that are online that were captured yesterday uh, by the Beijing Warriors flash, you will know uh, that they are coming online soon by Wednesday. I would say that's my next day. I would really have some time that I can concentrate on that. I don't just post the pictures, I talk a lot of nonsense in the pictures. Come on, if I am not talking, I gotta be typing. <laughs> if not, I will go mad. <laughs> it's sort of like a, a release valve for me. Beautiful. As you can see, this is all coming back. Now, if you want to stay up on the ridge up here, uh, the yellow house there, you can contact Barry Surf Shop in Barbados. He is the person who's the owner, caretaker of that property up there. So if you are interested in staying in the more elevated area, um, the homes up here, three homes up here I can tell you I can't tell you anyone else who's associated with them but if you check with spot over at uh, the office he will tell you who you can contact if you're on the south side you want to stay up here in the hills those three bungalows there he knows the owners then well he actually um, has one of them himself you can contact him I think it's on lease but he would know who the other folks are up any distance um, the building that's coming into center of the camera now that is the wrong house bar and restaurant um, another beautiful, beautiful place. I think they also rent rooms as well. Uh, if you have ever been there in the past, you would probably have met Anderson Hoggy Mares. 
Uh, Anderson worked up there for a long time. I'm not, he can't work at the moment, unfortunately, because um, his vision is impaired, but that's where he was. You may have met him in the past. Any surfer that's ever come to Barbados would know who Hog is, just as they would know Snake, or they would know who Mark Holder is, uh, Alan Burke, those are the men that are down here. The men that are always in this area that are known in the Super Bowl area because they're all winners of competitions down here in the past, along with numerous other people. But I'm stepping back in time today, so we're going to talk with the older generation. Um, you know, all the Mayor's families and Holder family and stuff that have been down here all the years. Goat, Ferriman, just to name a few of them. You would know who I'm talking about when I start to mention those names. Sort of like gives you an indication of my age. I was a little young boy when I met them though. They were all hard men, so. <laughs> I will probably run across them in the near future and they will, they will reprimand me for that comment, but don't mind. I could take my licks, you know why? I'm the Bajan warrior. <laughs> Beautiful area. A walk on this beach will take you away from everything that has disturbed you or that you can think about because this beach and this area here captivates you. There's no room for anything else but what you're seeing and what you're feeling. And I honestly mean that. You can have your worst day that you can imagine. You get a trip over here, sit on this beach, open your heart and open your mind and be grateful for what is around you. And I can tell you, you will be transformed. Whatever was worrying you before will be erased. I'm not saying it won't come back because you will leave here eventually, but it will be erased when you're here. You will sit here and you will cry on the beach for those that have gone before you because you will feel them. The presence of your family and your friends get so strong down here. It is impossible for me to give you a description for it except for come and try it for yourself, especially on the morning. Come and watch the sunrise. Come over to the East Coast if you're in Barbados. Get over here this time of year, 5.30. Don't be late or not or you'll miss it. Or if you come around to the winter months, you can get here for six and you will be able to watch the sunrise over on this coastline. Absolutely beautiful. Same wrong house again, just off of here. And then in the distance, um, I have to say, the failed construction in the Edgewater area. Um, that has been sitting dormant for a long time. If this ever builds, I will be staying here for sure. On uh, some staycation, whether it's just for weekend, whether it's for extended period or what, I will be staying here because the views from here on a morning would be definitely heart touching for sure. I would love to stay in that. Not that I don't like the beach houses, I've stayed in many of them, especially in the Galawash area. Only a couple in the Bash Bay area, but these would be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right up on the cliff, center of camera now, is what used to be known as Edgewater Hotel. It was the only hotel at the time when it was functioning that had a swimming pool that was, most of it was salt water. You used to pump any salt water and just top it up with fresh water and balance it off. But that's Edgewater Hotel. That has been the location for thousands of weddings and thousands of proposals and thousands of rehearsals for proposals for weddings. <laughs> so, Edgewater Hotel, that is definitely known to everyone that has come to Barbados in the past. The meals there were incredible. I used to go over there with my family when I was a little fellow, having a buffet, breakfast, uh, buffet lunch and stuff. That was our Sunday outing for the majority of the time. Just amazing. Now this is where the train used to run over at one time. It used to come over the George River area, across this ridge, and then work its way along the beach cliff, which is no longer there where it used to run. Um, it's all now uh, gone due to the erosion and stuff on the east coast. But this is one of the support bridges that was for the railway when it used to run here on the island. Strangely enough, it used to come over by George River and then work its way out along in front of these cliffs. Where you're seeing these cliffs right now, there are train tracks in front of them in the water. So that would give you an indication of how much land has gone over a period of time. All these rocks here would have been a part of a solid land mass and the heavy surf and the rough sea conditions would have eaten out all of the weaker matter and just left the actual coral heads out here as you can see. I don't know what the signal is going to get like as we go further down. So what I'll do is today we'll stop our vlog in this general area. I'm going to go up in a higher elevation and have a look down at it so you can see what it's like. I know up there the signal is relatively good. And then what we'll do is we pick up from here another day and take you on to a little further towards the north of the island. Um, but we're going to stop here this morning as in stop and this general location. But no, I'm not stopping talking yet. My mouth is only now warming up. I need a little more time. So we're going to work our way back up here. We go up on the higher elevation just below our house itself and we have a look from up there so you can see what the scenery is like.
many, many hiking routes in Barbados. We talk about it all the time. Uh, my favorite hike starts in Bath. A lot of people like to start at Concept, but Concept takes it in land before you get back down to the beach. I like to stay on the beach right through. Um, you can hike from Bath all along here, all along. If you don't want to go on the beach itself, you can step on the train line itself, go across the new footbridge at Joe's River, and then work your way down to the East Coast, along the East Coast itself. It is an amazing hike. This place changes. Uh, within every kilometer or so, you'll find a different looking landscape because you see us designed it and sculptured it just beautifully. When we were ready functioning before COVID, there was a little beach bar that was set up down here, just by this rock that's in front of us now. Um, they had, they used to have little beach chairs and stuff, a very small scale. And they used to also have a little um, fish fry section just in the rock itself. Looked like a little oven they used to fry on some, some wire mesh and stuff. So any of you that were over here, I've seen that would know what I'm talking about. It used to be absolutely beautiful very very tropical really nice and laid back section not highly advertised or anything like that but some of you guys who still run it over here you see really nice you can see some of the signage still up that they would have put up when they were in operation all right so these are the steps just below wrong house you don't actually have to go all the way up by where the war wagon is to come down on this beach um, if you do come down on this beach and it's low tide and the sea is relatively calm. There's some beautiful little pools in this reef. I will again tell you to exercise caution. If there's any type of swell or any type of surge or if it's high tide, I would not recommend using them because you will get swept out. I know this um, area here has claimed many, many people in the past. I do not want you to be one of those. So please exercise caution no matter what the conditions are like. But you can find, especially in summer, when we get our south breezes, um, when there's no systems around, you can find down here, this is no joke, like a lake, lots of the west coast, not a, not a ripple, just calm and glassy and beautiful. We're going to go back to that same bridge now, this is the path I was talking about. Um, the, this looks more like a road, but as you can appreciate, they carried a lot of um, materials over to create the footbridge from the Calawar side and also from this side. This has always been this way, you can always drive. To this section and stop they used to have an old railway track they used to run over joe's river you thought more about that when we go on that vlog it's beautiful down here what a lot of you may not know is when edgewater went through all the changes the edgewater hotel they had created something called a monkey island it was an area that had its barrier around it and then it had an island in the middle of like it was sort of like a moat kind of effect it was an island in the middle they used to have monkeys on it and natural trees I don't know if any of you all were blessed enough to have um, sat there and watched that, but I certainly was. It was absolutely amazing. All right, so we're going to do a 360 from here. I have a coconut tree blocking the sun a little bit for you, so you don't get blinded. But remember, our disclaimer, put on your darker makers. Here we go. I'm just going to go up a little bit back to where we were so we can take in a photo up while we say our goodbyes so you can see some of the beauty of out here from this elevation as well. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this morning. It's a Monday morning so I'm not talking so much today but um, forgive me because I, my, my mouth has not really warmed up too much. 
or either that or it's a little bit tired from talking to everyone yesterday but either which way excuse uh, the limited talk <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, anybody that met me yesterday would know exactly what I'm talking about. Have a wonderful time. Remember everyone that we have been blessed with life today. We have been blessed with lots of things that a lot of people are not going to experience, that will never experience. We are blessed this morning being able to wake up, watch what's going on right here, look at this beauty, breathe any fresh air. You know, we have life, we have the ability to take this in. As I said before, a lot of people don't. A lot of people did not sleep last night because they're being bombed intensely. Um, you know, so our prayers go to all of them. We just hope that the world, the world leaders will find us. I know that we are a little small, little gathering called the EMC, but we will become world known because we are slowly but surely growing. Uh, some of our friends call the International EMC and that's what we want to do. And hopefully they will find us and they will be able to understand what peace and serenity is all about and loving and caring and being kind and compassionate and everything that's positive you know hopefully they will do that so i know that none of you all want me to turn this view around because you want to look at my beautiful self well, at least i did <laughs> but we're gonna turn it around and say our farewells everyone have a safe day on behalf of all of our emc members our care team our munch kings our hall of famers we wish you peace and serenity and happiness and joy today we hope that your heart is warm and fuzzy and that you're ready to face any challenge that comes your way because of what you've experienced, what you've seen, what you've read and what you've heard today. I wish you all good health. I wish you all safety and I wish you all the best until we meet tomorrow. God spare life and see another point of this beautiful, beautiful island called Barbados. Refer to some as being paradise and to many as being heaven. Enjoy. I'm going to leave you here. Just say your farewells. Have a great day, everyone. And be kind. Be peaceful.